I'm going to show you how to create the ultimate listing presentation within a matter of seconds, leveraging the power of artificial intelligence. I've trained over 6,000 agents and it blows my mind how many don't have a good listing presentation and actually how many don't have one at all. And I'm gonna walk you through within a matter of minutes how you can use AI to create it in seconds and then adjust it within minutes in order to make sure that you've got the perfect listing presentation that will help you win listings over more experienced agents. All that you need is two free tools, Gamma.app and ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and walk through this tutorial. Now, as you can see, we're going to come to Gamma and you want to try it for free. I already have an account so we can log in here. And there we go. Now you can see here, there's the free account. You can upgrade to a different setting, but you do not need to in order to create this incredible listing presentation using artificial intelligence as a real estate agent. We also have ChatGPT 4.0 pulled up here as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click create new. Now you're prompted with three different options. You can paste in text from notes and outline or existing content. You can generate it from one line prompt or you can import a file. Maybe you want to you know, enhance an existing li listing presentation. You have one, but you're not happy with it and you would like to make it better. You can just import it here, click one button, it'll make it better. But let's go ahead and generate it. So as you can see, you can generate a presentation a web page if you don't have a website or a document. Maybe you need to create a lead magnet or a PDF or a buyer's guide, seller's guide. With one line of prompt, you can do it. So we're going to focus on a listing presentation. The default is eight cards or eight slides, if you will. But we're coming over here and maybe we want to select nine. You can go up to 10 and then if you want a whole whack more, you can upgrade to the paid option with Gamma.app, but you don't need to. Now we need to describe what we want. So I've got a little bit of an outline here and I'm going to copy this and paste it. So I'm a residential real estate agent and, and I need to create a listing presentation that I can present to home sellers outlining the value of working with me and my brokerage, eXp Realty, or whatever your brokerage is. I specialize in, in leveraging social media marketing to get exposure on homes. I leverage video content my name is this and I've been recognized as one of the top agents on social media in Calgary. So select some sort of accolade that you want to leverage. Generate outline. So this is going to give an outline as you can see here. A listing presentation. This is slide one, slide two to slide nine. This is going to be a bit of a, for example, introduction slide and about you slide why work with your brokerage, leveraging social media to get maximum exposure or your unique value proposition, video content for exposure, reaching more buyers to give them the you know understanding that you're gonna go above and beyond to attract buyers, not just agents on the MLS, your process, testimonials, and next steps to get your home sold. So if that sounds good, great. If not, you can add it, you can change it, you can rearrange it. But this is a pretty good outline. And you can see here, amount of text per card. Per card is like per slide. We can go with medium, brief, or detailed. If you want to put way more text because maybe you're not that strong at communication and you need text to guide you, you can go detailed. It will have less images, more text. If you're pretty good at delivery, but you like to have images to enhance it, medium, or if you want to have very little text and focus more on the graphics, which could be diagrams and flow charts and market data, which we'll talk about because the market data is critical. And I'll show you how to get it with ChatGPT. Now, I'll select medium, just for example, image source automatic web images or AI images. So you can either browse the web, browse the internet for images, or you can use artificial intelligence to create completely custom images specific to you and your presentation. Style. So describe color, style, and mood. I would like the style to be clean and professional. And my brand colors are purple and black. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sick. So um, if you hear my voice a little bit weird, I'm recording while I'm sick so I can make sure I provide value to you. <clears throat> so text content, we can outline it. Now, write for, so what kind of tonality do you want? 
professional, right? For, you know, for example, what's the um, level of intellect you would like to write it for? You don't really need to include this because it's pretty self explanatory. AI images, you can change that. Format, again, presentation, we've already locked that in. And now we're going to click continue. So you can see the theme preview over here. Well, what we could do is we can come over to the right hand side. I prefer dark themes. You might prefer light. It's up to you, but I prefer dark. Now, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to select one that I think is more like my brand. So if I come down here, black, purple, indigo, this is kind of the style that I would go with. It'll show you a preview. And now look at the magic happen. One click, done. And here we go. As you can see, it is creating the entire listing presentation within a matter of seconds. It won't even take minutes. We're on slide six, seven, eight, and finally nine. So now it's not only created our listing presentation, but it's created custom AI graphics for every single one of these, as you can see here. So now that we have this outline, Let's go ahead and edit it to make it better because this, unfortunately, is not me. So let's look at what we need to do to edit some of the text and edit some of the graphics. And then I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to input some powerful market data and then how easy it is to download it. So this isn't an image of me. You should probably have an image of you on your first slide. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the accent image. You can see a couple of options. You can fit it to the slide, you can change the focus point, you can remove the background, surprise me if you wanna create a different graphic, edit the image, or remove it. So we're gonna remove it. And I've got an image of me, which is this one here. So this is me outside of one of my listings. This is not the image I would use, but it's just a reference point. And you can see here, we can either search for images, we can generate an AI image if we don't like the one that it created, or we can upload an image. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to upload the image, as you can see here. Uploading. Looks good. Close out. Done. Now we've got an image of me in here. Now there's a couple different options over here as well. We can create new card templates. If we want to add a card, I'll show you how to do this for the market data. We can do smart layouts which are gonna give you the options. For example, if you want to have circle stats, if you want to have a pyramid breakdown, maybe a funnel outline, you can simply drag and drop these. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But there's text blocks, there's images. If you want to upload an image, web search, AI, you can scan QR codes, accent images. You can add videos. If you want to, for example, add one of your YouTube videos in here, to showcase the quality of work of your property tours, you can do that. And we come down, there's embedded websites, there's charts and diagrams. So maybe you want to show a chart of maybe your brokerage has a ton of market share or your team has a ton of market share or market stats or whatever. You can drag and drop this and do whatever you like. And then forms and buttons, which you're not going to need because this is going to be a listing presentation. So we come down here and look at this top social media. Um, in Calgary, market knowledge, client focused approach. You can change and edit this, whatever you want. So we can delete this, we can rewrite it. Um, and you can change all of this stuff if you would like. So maybe we come here and we don't quite like this image or we don't even like the layout. So let's look at this. We can come here and look at the card styling and maybe we want to keep it consistent, but opposite. Cool. Let's do that. And then maybe we want an image of your city. Well, there's a couple options. Here's an image of my city. So I could upload this image, one of the nicest homes in my city, actually. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'll show you how to create your own. So maybe we want to use this image. That's an image, obviously, of Calgary. And that looks pretty good. Now, let's say we come down here. And we don't like this image here. Create video content. It's just a video. Maybe we want to, or this one. I don't like this image, right? It's cut off. It's weird. I want to edit the card styling, put it over here. And then 
Maybe I want a picture of a gorgeous luxury home. We can come into ChatGPT and say, create an image of a beautiful luxury home. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a custom image of a luxury home for us. ChatGPT is going to be better for the uh, market data, but maybe we just want to play around with this. Great. Downloaded it. Get it out of here. Drag and drop. And now you can see reach more potential buyers. And we've got a beautiful custom graphic here for us. But let's look at the market data. So maybe we want to put in a complete slide in here entirely about market data. We're going to come in and we're going to do a blank slide. And we'll just toss it in here. Calgary market data analysis. So when we come to the text that we're going to put in, you can upload an image, we can put a table, we can do a web page, you can do blocks, or you can add AI, or you can just type. So let's go ahead and go to ChatGPT and say, provide me with the real estate market data for Calgary, Alberta for the for October 2024, since the month of November is not done yet, that I can provide to educate my clients. So now you can see it's searching the web. And in October 2024, now we've got all the sales activity, all the pricing trends, inventory and marketing conditions, and the regional highlights, depending on which quadrant of the city you're looking in. And off we go. And then if you want to see the sources, you can click here and it will show you the sources of where it pulled this data. As you can see here, this is where the sources are coming from. Kreb, Calgary, Real Estate Board. So maybe we want to put this, right? Pricing trends and market conditions. So we want to put in some of this information here. We can put this information in at any time that we want. Right? So it allows you to build out this really powerful presentation. Now, truthfully, I don't want to waste your time, but I would do this line by line so it doesn't include all of these Kreb things so that it actually looks better, right? Because you can see that it would show up way better <clears throat> if we just deleted these. And we'll just go ahead and do all of that. And then I'll show you how to download it as well. We'll finish this. Almost done. So look at this. Now we've got the Calgary market data. We've got the sales activity, the pricing trends, leveraging social media, um, all the graphics. And again, if we want to change some of the graphics because we don't like it, maybe we want to <clears throat> change the card, make it like the rest. And then we want to replace this image. We can do it with AI. And we want to say prompt, create uh, an image of somebody filming a real estate home tour. <clears throat> and now what you can see, it's going to take a couple seconds, but now you've got that engaging video content for your home tour. And that is pretty damn powerful. So you can go ahead and you can edit any of this. And you can check if the information is relevant, right? If we look at eXp, I didn't write any of this, but it talks about global reach, tech platform, financial stability, and agent collaboration. And I think that sounds pretty good. So if you're happy with this, the only other thing I'll show you is again, I promise to show you if you wanted to drag and drop like some charts or diagrams, you can just go ahead and, you know, put in a, maybe we'll look at like a target diagram. You just drag and drop it. And then you put in the details there. So we don't need this, but you can play around with the graphics if you're very techy um, and you would like to add in some more details, you can go ahead and do that, right? We can add in any of the details we want with timelines and put maybe your journey of when you got started, that type of thing. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do this. And now all that you need to do just come over here and click export and export as a PDF or a PowerPoint, right? I typically do PowerPoints, honestly. So we'll export it as a PowerPoint as well. 
And now I'll show you that this is done and we've got a gorgeous listing presentation that's customized to us. You could do it for buyer's presentations or anything else that you would like. So if I go ahead and look at this, now we have, as you can see here, everything that we need for our listing presentation. And if we look at the PDF, there you go. Pull this up. And that is your listing presentation done. So I deleted that image. I should have put a new one in, but it is what it is. So if you have any questions about this, drop a comment below. I just thought it was a super cool thing to show you because everybody should have a strong listing presentation and buyer's presentation. And there's no more excuses because we have AI and it'll do it all for you, as you can see, within a matter of minutes. So play around with it. Have fun with it create your listing presentation, get out there and start winning your listings. And if you want to know the top AI tools every real estate agent should be using, check out this next video because I do a complete tutorial of how to create video content using AI so that it takes minutes instead of days and hours like most.